Welcome to the Biomaterials Lab. Safety is a first priority, so always ensure to wear proper personal protective equipment on you while you're working in the lab, which includes the lab coat, safety glasses, and gloves. For further safety information, please visit safety.rise.edu. Sputter coating is the process of coating the samples with a thin layer of conductive material, such as gold or platinum. The layer is about 5 to 10 nanometer in thickness. This process of coating samples for scanning electron microscopy can increase the signal to noise ratio and therefore produce better quality images. The sputter coater has a vacuum chamber, this is where we load the samples, a touch display, and an emergency stop. Use the emergency stop during any step of coating process to stop the equipment to prevent any damage to the sputter coater or the samples or the surroundings. The sputter coater is connected to argon gas tank, a vacuum pump, and a thickness monitor. We need a box to help us with the sample preparation and storage. The sample, carbon conductive tape, sample mounts, and a couple of tweezers. Flip the paper and fold along the creases. Fold the front and back of the box and close the sides. Fold the insert and place it inside the box. We will remove one of the circular conductive tapes and place it on the mount. Using tweezers, carefully remove the tape and place it on the mount. Label the mount with sample name on the bottom of the mount. Carefully remove the top liner to expose the conductive carbon tape. Hold the mount using tweezers and place it on the insert. Next, we will place sample on the mount. One of the samples we will be working with today is table salt. Using a spatula, add small amount of sample on the mount and spread it. Let's prepare another sample using the same process. Remove the top liner on the conductive carbon tape and place samples on the mount. Here we have two pieces of paper. The longer one is a piece of paper towel and the shorter is a piece of copy paper. We have another sample mounted with pollen grains. An important step in preparation of samples for scanning electron microscopy is to ensure that there are no loose particles. We do this by blowing on the sample with compressed air. Give a couple of puffs to remove loose particles. We will do the same with all the samples. Important points to remember while preparing samples for scanning electron microscopy. 
which samples out gas under vacuum and can cause damage to the equipment. When samples are moved from atmospheric pressure to vacuum, unattached particles can be dislodged due to the change in pressure. Be absolutely sure not to have any loose particles as they may get sucked into the equipment causing serious damage. Check the argon gas tank to ensure a pressure of at least 5 psi. Now power on the sputter coater by toggling the power switch on the back of the sputter coater. Lift the lid of the coater. The lid might be stuck to the glass jar gaskets, so carefully lift the lid and do not allow the lid to fall back on the glass jar. Place the samples on the stage using tweezers. Gently close the lid and make sure it is properly seated. Tap on run and tap on start. Next tap on screens. Choose manual sputter. Tap on mechanical pump off. We will hear the vacuum pump running and the pressure in the chamber dropping. If the pressure does not consistently drop in the chamber, it might be because the lid is not properly seated. If this is the case, stop the mechanical pump and reseat the lid. Once the pressure drops to 0.03 tars or 3 into 10 to the power negative 2 tars, tap on gas valve. Wait until the pressure drops to 0.03 tars. Now power on the thickness monitor by toggling the power switch on back of the monitor. Once the thickness monitor is turned on, press on zero button. Now tap on sputter off. We will see a purple glow in the glass jar indicating the sputter process has begun. Once the thickness monitor reads 0.05 kilo Armstrong, we can stop the sputtering process by tapping on the sputter on. Turn off the thickness monitor by toggling the power switch on the back. Now tap gas valve on. Tap mechanical pump on. 
wait until the pressure inside the glass jar reaches the room pressure or once the hiss noise is no longer heard. Carefully remove the samples and store them in the box. Replace the lid on the glass jar and turn off the sputter coater by toggling the power switch on back of the sputter coater. To clean the sputter coater, lift the lid. Now carefully remove the top rubber gasket and remove the glass jar. Clean the inner surface of the glass jar using Kim wipe or lint-free cloth. During the coating process, the glass surface is also coated with gold. Cleaning the glass surface immediately after every use will ensure the glass remains clean and transparent. So please clean the glass jar after using the sputter coater. There is a gasket on the bottom, so seat the glass jar properly and ensure a perfect seal. Now carefully place the glass jar back. Now replace the top gasket and close the lid. For further information or questions, please contact the Biomaterials Lab Manager.